That was step one. Second step was to find the right environment. I wanted to be a software engineer. They don't hire those in Detroit. I had to come to California to, 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 to live my dream. And I'll give you an example. If you wanted to be an actor, you have to go to Hollywood. You can be the best actor in the world. Denzel can't get a job in Florida. <laughs> Teamwork. I have a theory that the top five people you spend the most time with will influence you the most. If it is happiness you seek, but the five people that you spend the most time with aren't happy, you can't be happy. If they have drama, you will have drama. If they don't have money, you won't have money. The fourth The fourth is problems. We all have them. I call them stress, stress storms. You guys don't get much rain here in California, but in Michigan, we get them all the damn time. They are unavoidable. You know they're coming. You expect them, and when they happen, you just ride them out. We all have problems, but when your problems come, you understand, one, what the root of the problem is, and come up with a realistic solution. I mean a realistic, most of us see the problem, we know what the problem is, sometimes it's us. And we know what the solution is, but we don't want to accept the real solution. For me, and I'm being honest about this, my solution was the people that were around me when I lived in the projects, including my ex-wife, weren't good for me. I accepted it. It took me a little while, but I did it. Ain't been broke since. <laughs> Next step is refuse to lose. None of you, none of us are born quitters. I have an example of the kid that lives upstairs from me. He's a baby and he's learning how to walk. And I'll say we all learn how to walk, but you learn how to walk before you can speak most of the time. And it's because you saw somebody doing something you wanted to do and you continue to do it. We all fail. We all bumped our heads. Sometimes we bust our lip. But as a kid, you didn't stop. So you weren't born a quitter, so there's no reason for you to quit at the goal that we talked about in step one. Right. You. You incorporate it. I talk to people and I coach people all the time that say, I want to start my own business. I say, why do you want to start your own business? They say, well, I hate my boss. <laughs> I have my own business. Instead of having one asshole, I ended up with every client. <laughs> That's not the answer. The answer is for you to decide that you are a business. You. You are marketing yourself, your skills, any and everywhere you go and to everyone you meet. Hence me standing in front of you now. Give 100%. This goes without saying. I'm not going to preach about it, but when you find what it is you love, I won't have to tell you what I just told you. And last but not least, is get to know yourself. Be real with yourself. You're a morning person. You're an afternoon person. You're a good person. You're an asshole. You need to learn who you are so that you can cater your goals and your day-to-day -day operations to succeed. Because if you're an ass, you can't be in customer service, can you? So I'll give a quick recap and then I'm done. Pick a goal, realize you deserve it. Find the right environment for you and move. No excuses. Find a team of five people that can help get you, get you to where you want to be. They ought not be where you currently are. They need to be above you. Problems, just deal with them. Refuse to lose. You weren't born a quitter. It was taught to you. You incorporate it. Become the business. Give 100%. Just find what you love. Get to know yourself. Be honest about who you are and what you're capable of. Real quick. If you are a midget, you cannot be an NBA player. <laughs> this is real as it gets. Anyway, I have an iPhone app called Don't Quit On Yourself and a website called Don't Quit On Yourself. This information and so much more is out there available for free. You can download the iPhone app now. You can go to the website on any tablet, phone, or computer. Thank you for listening.